Just another spring day in Alberta testing out running shoes. We had sun about 20 minutes ago. Not only is it hill day, it is new shoe day. I sent my Hoka Speak Out 5s back to Hoka. It just didn't work for me. I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm not sorry. Time to whip out the Ultra Glide here. There's that Solomon feel. Ah, brand new shoes. Well, hello everyone. Dog Walker here. Today I'm out the town of Cochrane, which is about 20 minutes west of us. And you'll get to see my view once I go up this hill here. I'm going to do hill repeats again today. Yesterday I didn't film it, but yesterday I did hill repeats on really short but very steep hills. Legs are feeling it today, and today I'm going to do hill repeats on this long and steady grind. Well, everyone, this was actually going to be a run vlog video, but since I cracked open the Ultra Glide by Solomon, I'm going to make this my first impressions review. All right, here are my first thoughts on the Ultra Glide by Solomon. If any of you have ever owned the Ultra Pro by Solomon, for me, again, this is just personal preference to help you make a purchasing decision. But for me, they were almost, almost the perfect trail shoe for me. And what I thought they could improve on in the Ultra Pro was to make the midsole just a little bit thicker, not a whole lot thicker, but soften up the midsole material and they nailed it oh i know i've said this about many shoes and how they're my favorite and blah blah and, and people might think man you're just full of crap you don't know what you want that might be the case <laughs> but these are softer than my peregrine 11s there's a tremendous amount of cushioning running on technical terrain going downhill i am having zero issues with movement and I just tied them the one time. The speed cross that I had to send back to Hoka, my feet were moving all around on the inside of the shoe and I did not feel comfortable bombing down hills. But with these on, I do feel safe and secure running down hills. Even at my age, I feel confident running down hills on any type of technical terrain. And that's just after one run. Another thing I want to mention is the tongue and the collar is a lot more comfortable than the Ultra Pro and the lockdown in this shoe is, it's amazing everyone. It is amazing for my foot type anyway. The only negative I would say about the shoe is that the little pocket that you put your quick laces in, the Solomon lace pocket system with the one pull, that pocket is too far down on the tongue. So it's really hard to put your laces in the lace garage, whatever Solomon calls it. It's just a little bit too far down and it's a little bit of a pain to put the laces in. But once they're in there, they lock in quite well. Well, to wrap up everyone, I know I've said this numerous times on the channel that these are my favorite shoes, these are my favorite shoes, these are my favorite shoes. You can't make up your mind. Well, these are even after just the one run with some technical downhill and doing some hill repeats out here in Cochrane. These are an amazing shoe. I have a couple of things that I would change. The first one is that if I could get the outsole of the Speed Goat, or maybe just a little bit more depth on the lugs, that would make the outsole basically perfect. The Solomon Contagrip outsole is a very nice outsole. It's very sticky, works extremely well. That little bit of a lace garage, it's a bit of a pain, but it's not really a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. Very comfortable, very comfortable upper, felt quite locked in zero issues whatsoever did not have to stop and relace or retighten the quick laces my only concern is that if they are anything like my ultra pro the upper broke in a couple of spots near the welded overlays if anybody out there watching has had the ultra glide for several months or maybe even a year because i know that solomon has had them out for about a year they haven't put out much product in the last year probably because of the supply chain issues but if you've had them for a long term hundreds of kilometers leave a comment below to let me know how the wear and tear is on the uh, upper and the shoe itself if they've held up well for you but i will be putting these through a 
few hundred kilometers before I report back on them. But my initial thoughts on them are they are they are a very nice shoe for me, but they are still a very nice shoe. I feel confident going down hills and they are extremely comfortable. Way different than any other Feeling Solomon shoe that I've ever had. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've gotten to this point of me rambling on about these shoes, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Maybe even give it a like. You know, the usual thing that people do on YouTube. Thanks for watching everyone. Have yourself a great day. Peace. And as I say in all my videos now, get outside. I know we don't like to pick favorites in many things in life, like favorite child, favorite pet, favorite place to go, but I am picking a favorite one right now.